Asakat Cat vs Bengal Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? You won't go crazy when you see an Asakat. You can see a little spotted cat, but it is not wild. Avoid it! The Asakat was born from the crossing of Siamese, Abyssinian and American cats. It may be named after the Ocelot, a small wild cat from South America, but all of them are domestic cats. With its distinctive spotted coat and large size, the Bengal resembles a feral or inquiring cat, but although one of its ancestors was the small wild Asian leopard cat, it is, in part, a cat. Home cat. The Ocelot stands out for his spotted coat, which gives him the look of a small wild cat. The short, smooth, satiny coat comes in 12 colors, all of which feature dark thumbprint-shaped spots on a light background. Like the Abyssinian, which was one of his ancestors, the Ocelot has what's called an agouti coat, meaning that each hair has several bands of color. The exception is the tip of the tail. The spots are formed where those bands of color meet. Rows of round spots run along the spine, and more spots are scattered across the shoulders and rear end, extending down the legs. Broken bracelets of spots encircle the legs and broken necklaces adorn the throat. Large, while scattered spots appear on the side of the body and on the belly. The tail has what look like horizontal brush strokes going round it, sometimes alternating with spots. Markings around the eyes and on the cheeks make the Ocelot look as if he has been at work with a mascara tube. The forehead is marked with an M for mischief, no doubt, and small spots cover the lower neck and shoulders. Some Oshi cats have classic mackerel and tick tabby coats, which are beautiful but aren't correct for the show ring. Those cats have the same great Ocelot personality, however, and make wonderful pets. The Ocelot has a medium size to large body. He is muscular yet graceful. Large ears corner the modified wedge-shaped head. Some Oshi cats have tufts of fur that extend vertically from the tips of the ears. Large almond-shaped eyes angle slightly upward and can be any color except blue. The lengthy tail has a dark tip. The Bengal could never be called delicate. He is an athlete, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if he belongs in the jungle. His broad head is a modified wedge shape, longer than it is wide, with rounded contours. Atop it are medium-sized to small ears that are relatively short, set toward the side of the head. Large oval eyes are almost round. Joining the head to the body is a long, muscular neck. Supporting the body are medium-length legs, slightly longer in the back than in the front, with large, round paws. A thick, medium-length tail tapers at the end and is tipped in black. When a Bengal rolls over, you can see that another characteristic is a spotted belly. Enhancing the Bengal's wild appearance is a short, thick pelt that feels luxuriously soft and silky. It comes in several colors and patterns, including brown tabby, seal mink tabby, black silver tabby, and seal silver lynx point. The coat can be spotted randomly or in horizontal patterns, or it can be marbled, with horizontal stripes arranged randomly on a lighter background. Some Bengals have a coat that is described as glittered. Hello. This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code kittenlife to get 20% off. The devoted and playful Ocelot loves people and will trail their footsteps through the house or ride on a shoulder. Guests are welcomed by this generally social cat as new opportunities for petting or lap sitting. Oshi cats don't even mind being carried around as long as they are with you. As with any animal, they come in a range of personalities, so some are more shy than others. Favorite activities include retrieving toys and learning to walk on a leash. Oshi cats are highly intelligent and learn tricks easily. Puzzle toys are a good way to keep them occupied and entertained. Carefully put away anything you don't want him to have. He is perfectly capable of figuring out how to open doors or undo latches. His Siamese ancestors bequeathed the Ocelot a tendency to be vocal, but he is not as loud or as demanding. He is sensitive and will respond to nothing more than a verbal correction. Although the Ocelot is adaptable, he doesn't like being left alone. Be sure he has another cat or dog as a companion if you aren't home during the day. The Bengal is highly active and highly intelligent. This makes him fun to live with, but he can sometimes be challenging. On the whole, the Bengal is a confident, talkative, friendly cat who is always alert. Nothing escapes his notice. He likes to play games, including fetch, and he's a whiz at learning tricks. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. Bored Bengal cats can also adopt some unconventional and slightly destructive habits, including turning light switches on and off. Fishing seals out of drains and excitedly plucking CDs from your DVD player. Fond of playing in water, 
the Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. On the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. The Ossicat's short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. The short, thick coat of the Bengal is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The gentle and playful Ossicat is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. It's likely that the Ossicat will dominate other cats in the household and may even rule the dogs. The active and social Bengal is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Like many active cats, Bengals have a high prey drive and should not be trusted with smaller prey animals such as, hamsters, smaller rabbits and guinea pigs. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.